I'm going to be riding an unregistered lawnmower to Canada, crossing international borders and traveling well over 100 miles to make it happen. Were you authorized by anyone? The Canadian government? This year we're stepping things up in a big way. I'm talking more speed, more upgrades, and of course, more grass. Because if you remember from last year when I rode a lawnmower to New York City, I almost died. Out of control going 70 and he hit this You almost killed my friend! Now to make this mission come to life, there's only one man I could truly trust, and his name is Anthony. I upgraded you to LEDs in the front. Now Anthony helped us build the last lawnmower, which I rode across the entire state into New York. And he was also my personal hero when he came to the rescue and delivered me a new lawnmower when the last one literally exploded on impact. Anthony is quite literally the only man capable of getting what I needed done, so I sent the message and he went to work. He has no idea where we're going, which you know it's gonna be really exciting to tell him. We're crossing international borders today, baby. He's gonna get us into some trouble, I'm sure. I met Anthony on Facebook Marketplace and he is the absolute goat when it comes to fixing lawnmowers. And after our last project together, I'm happy to call him family. We even met up a couple of times and I spent Thanksgiving at his house when I had nowhere else to go. So that's why I'm so excited to see him. Welcome, my Welcome friend. How are you? What are your plans? We're going international border. We're crossing as far as we can this get. This is insane. Wow. We have headlights. Engine-wise and transmission-wise, they're bulletproof. The weak link on here is the belt. Okay. I'm going to give you an extra belt. For an unregistered lawnmower, this is looking pretty street legal, kind of. Surely, we're going to run into some, some issues with the border. Let's talk about the destination. Clearly, I wasn't going to be able to ride an unregistered lawnmower across an international border, which is where I found this gray area through our friend, Tom Scott. This is the town of Stansted, Canada. On the other side of the street is Derby Line, USA. Located just north of Vermont, there's a small town called BB Plain. And in that town, there's a loophole where the border is separated by a single road. One side of the road is the US and the other is Canada. And if I can make it to that road, I will literally be risking 10 years of federal prison time by taking that hard left to Canada, crossing the road and entering Canadian soil where I can cut their sweet, sweet grass. I didn't even bring my passport. I just realized figure it out. <laughs> and with the only consequence being a few years of federal prison, it's a risk that I'm willing to take. And that's where we're going. We're taking this thing across international borders, Anthony. Love it. How safe would you rate this uh, this unregistered vehicle here? In the way it originally was, I put it as a nine. Right. Now that it's going 20 plus miles an hour, maybe a three and a half. <laughs> I think this is a mistake, but anything for, uh, you know, for cutting grass. <laughs> That's right, Anthony. You just get me so well, man. This one here, this is a normal everyday lawn tractor. Everybody has one. They do about three miles an hour. What do you do over here, Anthony? Well, over here, we rebuilt the engine. A little bit higher compression than it normally would. Crash bar in the front. <laughs> LED lights up in here and in here. And we changed the... Uh, pulley on the back transaction. That, that makes the difference of three miles an hour to... Upwards of 20 plus. Right, okay, that sounds safe. Not on my lawn, it don't. <laughs> we put tubes in the tires, we, we put reflective tapes all around, <laughs> and a slow moving vehicle side on the back. Whoever might want to see us not on the road, cops. We have the illusion of a slow moving vehicle right there. The fastest grass cutter on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> the real test to see exactly what Anthony's been up to, what he's been cooking. We're gonna compare it to a real lawnmower that's Safe. Ah, the slow life, you know? <laughs> so much faster. I'm going to Canada with style. This is the brake pads. So that explains why they died last time, like halfway yeah, through. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do to upgrade that. Just hope you don't have to stop in a hurry. This is like my first time trying it. I'm gonna get on the road. I'm warning you. Drive it around here a little bit so you can see the stopping distance. Safety is key, which is why we aren't going to go right yes. onto the road. Please. We're getting to Canada in no time, baby! This is it, baby. We're back to what our roots are, except this time, this time it's winter. There are six gears. So this is level one, level two, level three, level four, five, and six. And we are cruising. There's no world where you should be going this fast under lawnmower, which is why it's unregistered. I do have to maintain the bolts and nuts of this thing. The thing that cuts the grass could actually fall off from the amount of stress that I'm putting it through. Tucker Doss for all your lawn service needs. Here we go, baby. <laughs> There's no way that this is productively cutting grass. Right now, despite my increased speed, I'm trying everything I can do to blend in and avoid the police. I'm definitely raising some eyebrows among passing cars already. The fact that I'm cutting grass at this time of the year makes about as uh, just about as much sense as 
you not liking this video and subscribing because that's kind of what we're here for. I'm kind of, I'm waiting on that and then we can kind of keep going. Interestingly enough, we've approached our first obstacle on the lawnmower. This is not like New York City in the sense that it is not flat at all. Because as you remember, the brake pads that we have on this thing are about as small as my So that leaves us in kind of an interesting predicament here because I have to conserve the brakes and not lose them as this is just the beginning of the journey. Which leaves me almost no choice but to put it in neutral and bomb the whole thing. Holy shit. Oh no. It's so At this point, it was obvious. This trip was nothing like my last. Speed was my middle name and I was in the middle of absolute nowhere. We're at our first steep incline of the trip. Up can only mean one thing. You can't congress. There ain't no fruit and vegetables based on the USA, baby. Guns, freedom, cut grass. Yeah. We're coming up on our first issue here. And uh, if we pop the top of this beautiful V8 hot rod of a lawnmower here, you're gonna notice we're running out of gas. Uh, Jonas drives about 30 minutes ahead of me. He has my gas tank. I was absolutely cooking through the first 30 to 40 miles of this trip. That is until this happened. Oh, okay, hold on. I think I just ran out of gas. I'm out of gas. I'm in Woodville, 20, 30 miles away from where you are. Hey, Jonas, why did you go so far ahead? You're supposed to stay close. How long will that take to get back here? Well, from last time, so Woodville was like an hour. What? Are you saying you're an hour ahead of me? Yeah. Yo, Jonas, why did you? <laughs> I mean, there's houses around here. I could ask for gas. But like, either way, don't go that far ahead. What if something else goes wrong? Right, sorry. That's my one guy. And he has my gas. I guess, I mean, there's houses around. The one real job is just... You know, don't let this happen. I'm pulling up to my first house here. I do see gas right here. Well, looks like they're not home. There's another house here. Hi, hi, sorry. Would you happen to have a little extra gas? Yeah, I was, you see I'm taking this lawnmower here to Canada. Oh. So I'm wondering if you might have a little gas. Yeah, let me take a look. Quick little refresh. Oh yeah. Why did she not think that was more straight? I thought for sure I'd be like, I'm riding this thing up to Canada. She'd be like, you're what? That was pretty normal for her. Despite all odds, we're back on the road. We're trucking and uh, we're kind of back on some sort of civilization, it looks like. I'm hoping that the rain doesn't come down on me too hard, but it started. You know? Just a quick little reminder that it is in fact winter because if I get wet, I could literally turn into a popsicle. I think we're going New Hampshire to Vermont right now. Yep, that's it. We just crossed states. I crossed my first state and Canada was starting to feel even closer. There he is, the man of the hour. Thanks a lot, buddy. A very kind lady in New Hampshire gave me some gas. Jonas, you can't leave me like that, buddy. I was trying to utilize time, you know? Creating TikToks while we film, make people engage. Right, 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 right. Well, in case you forgot the main point of the video, Jonas, it's to go to, to Canada. Canada. Right, right, okay. Well, fresh gas for you, buddy. Kick this into six gear. This feels like the middle of nowhere. Like I, at least last time I was like around civilization. I was definitely a little scared at this point because if anything went wrong, that would be the end of my journey. The only thing that gave me any sort of comfort at all was cutting grass. Myself and the lawnmower are just getting absolutely caked in mud. And I'm super impressed with how far this thing has gotten. I haven't really used the brakes once. I just keep using the shifter and I think we might make it. This whole area is kind of making me feel like uh, that one site. It's like, take you for a ride on my red green tractor. We can go slow, or make it go faster down through the woods. The sun is out and I am back on the pavement. That is a great feeling. No longer gonna get caked in mud, at least for the time being. Excuse me, you would happen to know how far it is to Canada. You are 40 to 50 miles from the water. Are you able to take that on the interstate? Uh, uh, <laughs> is that going to cut off some time though, you think, the interstate? You'll add another 10 miles. If I don't take the interstate. If you don't take it. Thank you, sir. If you take the interstate, you can save up to 10 miles. <laughs> I feel like that's the only option, right? Oh, well, back to what this video is all about, cutting grass. A very fast reminder as we enter the, the freeway here, I am gonna be experiencing cars doing a lot faster speeds than I am. At this rate, it's gonna be dark when I get to the border, which is less than ideal. Oh, oh boy. Ah! At least I have my headlights. Ah! Always, also without getting pulled over. Not ideal. Ah! I just need to survive the next 20 or 30 minutes. Get back on the bike path. The cops are here. Oh sh! Howdy. Do you work for the highway? Uh, no, I'm just cutting grass. You just cutting grass? Heading to Canada. Were you authorized by anyone to? 
cut grass? Um, the, the Canadian government? Just take it out slowly from there, right? I saw a TikTok once yeah. where a guy was like, if you ever want to hand your wallet to an officer, you go like this. Really oh, don't do that. <laughs> Oops, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to keep going. As so long as I don't get arrested. <laughs> I shaved my head all the way back and tried to look like insane. It looks great. Totally worth it. Oh, it's not helping my case. The laws are the laws, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's, he's gonna let us go. If I told him I'd get off the highway, <laughs> that's what we're doing. Let's get out of here. Made it off the highway. We are wildly close, about a mile. This is what the entire video has led up to. I'm at the fucking border. I am just up this hill is my gray area, my loophole, my ability to cut grass and cut nada. This is all us, we got this, come on baby. No drunk drivers in sight, nobody in sight really at all. This is the border, this is it. Howdy partner. This is the gray area, BB Plain. I'm hoping you'll just let me ride on through the border there, do a quick little lap on the lawnmower, and that's just about it. Where the hell are you gonna cut grass? I see some grass right there. I'd... That grass right there is Canadian Customs. So while you're there, you might as well have a chat. Hi. Howdy, I just wanted to see if I could hot lap this road. I have my ID. And where are you born? Mountain America. So I just want to go up it, down it, call it a night. There's no immatriculation plates yeah. on the road. No. If you check this out here, what we got here that I think you're really gonna like is this, boom, that's safety. And then on the front here as well, we have, boom, you know, lights. It's not what is accepted in Canada on the road. Got it, okay, okay, I see. Just stay there. Sorry, I can't touch you in Canada. It doesn't work like that. All right, like right where we're standing, this is Canada. Right here. In Canada. At this point, clearly I had made it into Canada. Yeah, I don't go very fast, so I'm not really good. <laughs> <laughs> so I put my blade at its lowest setting and I cut literally anything I could. Although it was mostly snow, I'm almost positive that there were a couple blades of grass in there. there just, just statistically, there's gotta be. And right when I thought I had made it through the hardest part, Coming back into the United States was where things took a turn. Well, big surprise there, I didn't get let in. They told me to turn off my yeah. camera and questioned me for nearly two hours. Have any idea with it? Yeah. What the hell are you doing? They were ripping me apart for almost anything they could, questioning why was I there? Who was I with? How was I getting home? Why did I have a lawnmower? And to be honest, I don't know that there's a real answer to any of those questions. I was just bullshitting my way through it. But no matter how much I tried, there was no way that I could express to them that I was there to just cut the grass. It was a passion project. It was what I needed from the bottom of my heart. They just didn't understand it. How could they? And after nearly two hours of questioning, they gave me my license back and sent me on my way. There's a big chance that I'm risking real federal prison time by uploading this video, which is why you need to absolutely smack the like button for me, hit that subscribe button. I, I really hope that you liked the video because like I said, you know, I might not be uploading another one, to be honest, it's, it's a big high risk, high reward. We did what we had to do. We chopped the grass and we made it to Canada. I love you guys. <laughs> That's it, peace.